Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and today is the feast of a beloved virgin martyr of the early church, St. Agnes. According to tradition, she was only 12 when she was killed for the faith. Though her name comes from a Greek word for pure and chaste, it looks very much like the Latin word agnus, which means lamb. Since at least the 9th century, two lambs are brought to the Pope this day to be blessed. On Holy Thursday, the lambs will be sheared, and the wool used to make the pallium, or vestment that new archbishops are given on June 29th, the feast of Saints Peter and Paul. Here's something Blessed John Paul said about this a few years ago. St. Agnes, with her story of virginity and martyrdom, aroused in the Roman people and in the world a wave of profound admiration, which time has not succeeded in stifling. Like a tender, innocent lamb offered as a gift to God, Agnes bore the supreme sacrifice to Christ with the bloody sacrifice of her young life. The ancient rite, according to which two lambs are blessed on this day, the wool of which is then used to make the pallium of the archbishops, perpetuates the memory of this example of invincible courage and spotless purity. Yes, those two words of Pope John Paul really sum up St. Agnes courage and purity. Because of her courage, she maintained her purity and remained faithful to her religion and her vows, even in the face of death threats and torture. Let's pray for ourselves and for our bishops and for all the archbishops who've been named recently or will be named in the coming months and who'll be going to Rome in June for the pallium. May they have the invincible courage and spotless purity of St. Agnes as they teach and govern and sanctify God's holy people, the Church.